students welcome back uh, during last lecture we discussed the concept of reversible process and i explained to you uh, that only quasi static process can be considered as reversible process uh, that was expansion process you could imagine reverse that is compression process and that was because of in equilibrium force and of course their in equilibrium we considered uh, to be infinitesimally small etc okay but let's uh, also talk about another process heat transfer heat transfer is a process right uh, you know that heat exists heat is a energy in transition that means heat exists when there is temperature difference okay so heat spontaneously flows from a body of high temperature to a body of low temperature okay now is this process a reversible process i told you that in nature no process is reversible obviously heat transfer is also not a reversible process what do you mean by that just think about it let's say that this is our system and in the system i consider two bodies right i let's say this is a isolated system there is no energy or mass transfer across the system boundary and i am considering two bodies right uh, let's say this body is of temperature 100 degrees celsius this is body of 20 degrees celsius right so now if you allow if there is uh, you know if there is an insulator and if you remove that and you allow heat transfer what will happen the heat will tra tra be transferred from high temperature body to low temperature body right consider an a solid here um then what so this is this process is spontaneous process but is it reversible it's not in the sense is it possible for suppose that 100 kJ of heat flows 100 kJ of heat flows from body 1 to body 2 high temperature body to low temperature body right and as a result we can say that this temperature let's say moves to 80 and this temperature drops to 90 let's say, okay i'm taking arbitrary values okay so this drops to 90 this is raised to 80 now 100 kJ is transferred now would you expect hmm, the reverse process that means the, the now the heat is being transferred from a body of 100 kJ get automatically transferred from uh, the a body of 80 degrees celsius and it is given to body of 90 degrees celsius as a result this 80 degree temperature reduces to back to 20 and this 90 uh, is uh, getting back to 100 so the system comes back to initial state surrounding of course there is surrounding there is no change in the surrounding right there is change in system okay so can you imagine that obviously not because heat cannot flow from spontaneously from low temperature to high temperature right it cannot flow so this is the so heat transfer is a irreversible process um if you want to transfer heat from low temperature body to high temperature then you have you have to run something like heat pump you have to take some energy some work and take heat from here and go to the uh, deliver it to high temperature body but then you are changing you are taking something from the surrounding you are leaving trace in the surrounding okay so reversible process is one which should leave no trace in the surrounding as well as system and you should come back to initial state right now that's that cannot happen okay that cannot happen because heat cannot flow spontaneously from low temperature to high temperature you have to take some energy then it becomes a reversible process okay now like we said we imagine a quasi static process and said that quasi static process is a reversible process similarly what can you think about this if we want heat transfer process we want to imagine a reversible heat transfer process what kind of conditions have to be met so that the heat transfer process becomes reversible okay i want you to just consider this uh, what made quasi static process possible we reduce the in equilibrium force to infinitesimal amount right every time in equilibrium force was infinitesimal right because that's why we said that split the piston into infinite slices remove one piston sorry one one slice 
and you create infinitesimal in equilibrium force. Similarly, so the, the unique feature or distinguishing feature of a quasi-static process which is a reversible process is that the actuating force, the imbalance, uh, in force of imbalance is infinitesimal. It is infinitesimal. And if that expansion takes place, that is a reversible expansion. That's a quasi-static process. Now apply the same logic to a heat transfer body. Imagine two bodies across which heat transfer is to be caused, right? But that heat transfer should be reversible. That heat transfer should be reversible. Just pause the video for for some time. Think about it and come back. Think hard and then come back. Because I'm going to give an answer, but Pause the video, think hard and come back. Okay, welcome back. I hope you have thought about it and you have answered. The answer is, if you want to imagine a process, heat transfer process to be reversible, then think about what is causes the, causing that heat transfer. What is causing that heat transfer is temperature difference. Right? Temperature difference. It is because there is temperature difference, there is heat transfer. And we want reversible heat transfer, reversible heat transfer, there what we did, we, the inequilibrium force which caused expansion, we reduced it to infinitesimal value. Now, there is heat transfer because of temperature difference. So, temperature difference is your actuating force, one can say, or the thermal potential, actuating force or thermal potential, that is causing the heat transfer. So, reduce it, imagine it to be infinitesimally small, right? Imagine it to be infinitely small. That means if you imagine these two bodies, imagine, let me draw it again. Suppose these are the two bodies. This is temperature T and this is temperature T dash. I'm taking it general. And let's say this is your system. Now, if you say that T and T dash, the temperature difference between them is infinitesimally small. It's nearly zero, but not exactly zero. Infinitesimally small. Then the actuating force has become infinitesimally small. Infinitesimally small. Then you can say that the heat transfer from here to here is reversible. That means spontaneously there will be heat transfer from this to this, and spontaneously there will be heat transfer from this to this. So this and of course the surrounding is unaffected. So system in the system there was some change and that has been restored, right? So Heat transfer between two bodies where the difference in temperature is infinitesimally small can be considered as reversible heat transfer process. Okay, so quasi static process is a reversible process. Heat transfer across infinitesimal temperature difference is also a reversible process, and we have understood what is. Uh, you know, we, we have understood the concept of reversible process and we have imagined two processes which can be considered as reversible process and I told you that these processes are imaginary, we have just constructed intellectually. In reality, in nature, there is no process which is reversible. But it is important to imagine this because we want to construct an ideal engine. Okay? Thank you.